anyways, our cause this year is to help the Holotus Fire Department with the donation. But we can get back to that later. For right now, we'd appreciate it if you would get ready and silence your phone. So sit back, relax, and, and we hope you enjoy the show. show. <laughs> Tom Grum. 
Not at all. I'm glad to hear. No, uh, but take it up with Mrs. Banks. She has everything on that side. And uh, don't forget the references. I'll make a rule that we get references. I see. I'll see the children now, thank you. Oh, of course. You'll find the very nice children. Michael, Jane, this is... Uh... Mary Poppins. Jane, don't stare. And close your mouth, Michael. We are not codfish. Best foot forward, spit spot. Mrs. Brill, we have a new nanny. She passed right through there and more I did. A very tidy nursery, I must say. Tidier than I was expecting. Who's responsible for that? Miss Brill. Me. I am. What? Do you indeed? Well, I look forward to making use of that. There's nothing better than a child whose word I can depend on. Now, first things first, a proper place to hang a hat is on a hat stand. There's nothing in it. You better keep an eye on this one. She's tricky. <laughs> When the day's grey and ordinary, 
Mary makes a song for someone. You do talk nonsense, but. Oh, often this is blooming all around her. The daffodils are smiling at the dark. I haven't the faintest idea what. When you marry all down, you feel so grand. Your heart starts beating like a big brass band. You're on a brass ball. What was that? You're quite wrong, you know. You take a walk with Mary, anything can happen. What? Who are you? I'm Nelius. I wait for time to take a walk on the sunny day. Each man out with his dog will stand a guard to see a statue take a gentle jump. Oh, it's a jolly holiday. Are you quite sure you know how to ice? Quite sure. 
total nincompoop. I'll just go up and check the drawing room. I like to be helpful. And I like to be rich. But Destiny thought otherwise. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. Mother... <laughs> Mother... <laughs> the drawing room. She says you can tell Robert's in it. Does she indeed? Please, Miss Bro. I don't mind. Honest. All right. I will give you one task and one task only. Put the icing tools next to the cake. Do you think you can manage that? Is that all? For you, yes. For me, no. I swear a slave and your room was on a pleasure group compared to my life in this house. <laughs> Michael, why don't we make the icing? Because we don't know how. Don't be so feeble. Get the eggs. Oh, and the flour. Are there eggs in icing? Well, they're all in mine. Robertson A, bring me the cake. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Mrs. Brill, go be green. Children, you know how important my party is? You deserve some very nasty medicine. Just wait till bedtime. I don't think we should wait till then, ma'am. We'll clear up here, won't we? Now go up and get changed. Who are not to? I won't take it. You can't make it. And that is in so many things. Your information is faulty. Open. But it's strawberry ice. Now you, open. I don't think I like strawberry ice. I don't think I care. Open. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Michael, I know you like to keep things me, Jane. I told you she was tricky. Can't Robertson A do it when he gets up? I mean, he is a servant. With that attitude, you'll get through a lot of stuff before you're very old. Besides, in every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. You find the fun and snap. The job's a game. And every task you undertake becomes a piece of cake.
we can play our next game. What game? Oh, visit to the bank. That's not a game. Did Daddy agree? If he did, you must have put the idea into his head. Sir. What an apparent thing to say. Me putting ideas into other people's heads. Really?
expect you to get it right every time. That's exactly what they expect. Yeah. 
Oh, till we meet again. Well, I don't know who else. The note does say, till we meet again. George, dear, you're going to be surprised. Wherefore, you know very well, I hate surprises. Oh, George, I do believe you're going to be quite proud of me. Hurry up, everybody. I want her to find out it's big, well, it's big and stuff. It's
else should the chimney sweep be? The world is awfully big. And what does that tell you? Awfully small and unimportant. Speak for yourself. I mean, our troubles are so big down in the nursery, but up here. That's more like it. Troubles are never so bad. When, when you look at them from a little higher up.
It's a picture of the three of us. It says, it's a picture of the three of us. It says, Dear Jane and, wait, what it says? It says, it's a picture of the three of us. It's a picture from Mary Poppins. With a great deal of love. Poppins. Gone. Gone? How peculiar. Do you think? I think you should dance with me. God, this is serious. 
organizations that they're part of. But we just want to say thank you so much for, again, supporting Theater for a Cause. Um, we are, you know, all of this is, you know, through um, their hard work, their hours that they put in, their practices, the coach, Ms. Lakata, Coach T, you know, everybody who has, has been here, you know, just helping us put this all together. Thank you so much. And of course, parents for all the schedule changes that we've had and practice hours and all that. So we just thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. All the money that's collected is to support the heroes that we have here in the city of Lotus, which is our um, police department and fire department. So I don't know if they're out there. Thank you. 